South Carolina. He's out here doing a very unique thing with this tripod and this pot set up right here. John, what are you doing? I'm cooking uh, potatoes and pine sap. Pine sap potatoes. Why, why would you cook potatoes and pine sap? Why do you do that? Well, they, they did that years ago, um, I think with the naval store industry, even though there's no written history of it. But they, I think they used it as a preservative. There wasn't any refrigeration back then. They had to uh, preserve some stuff somehow. That's interesting. Well, if you look down at these uh, potatoes in the pot there, they've been boiling a while. Yep. Uh, so they're boiling, and what is this thing you This use? is actually the sap. Oh, it, it looks, is? It looks a lot like amber, huh. but it's very brittle. Okay. And it came from the naval stores industry, and I, I figured they only cooked it maybe one time to get the turpentine out of it. That's interesting. It looks kind of uh, clear on the inside. Yeah, it's very pretty. That's neat. But after you cook it a couple of times, it gets real black. It looks like tar. Now, where do you find these big blocks of pine sap like this? Where well, do you find that? I, I have been finding them in, in the rivers in this area. Um, Guacamole River, Black River. All the rivers were thoroughfares. Okay. There weren't really many roads back then. Huh. So they, uh, these boats come up the thoroughfares of the rivers, and people would uh, either uh, use a distillery like to get the sap and make the, make the naval stores stuff. Right. Mostly turpentine. Okay. That was like the high product. And this is kind of what was left over. Interesting. Even though they use this a lot for, for a lot of products. But after a while, I think they just dumped it. So they'll find a lot of it in chunks. In chunks in the river. In, in the, the river. bottom of the river. So you're a scuba diver, I take yeah. it. You go out and dive with the tanks and then find it okay, in the black water rivers. But you can find a lot of it on the land. What they what you were telling, telling the young lady a while ago is yeah. they would fall these trees down. That's right. That's and right. then they would heat it up. Yeah. And then the sap would come out of either end of the tree, and it would create this uh, little basin in the woods where the pine sap was. So, so people go along and they would find the uh, pine sap inside the, the ground, in the ground where they work on that. That's really interesting. So uh, I'll tell you what, what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick look at how you're getting these potatoes out in just a second and see what you're doing here. You're just stirring that sap around there. Yeah. These are sweet potatoes or white potatoes, any, any kind of root vegetable I think you can cook in here. Okay. And how long does a, uh, but is a potato preserve when you cook it this way? Well, I've, I've had them lay on the ground for up to two weeks and still be edible. Uh, two weeks? Two weeks. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. But I think what they did years ago, they rolled it in probably pine straw or leaves and they can pack it away because this coating on here will get extremely hard after I take these out. Huh. The potato cools off. Isn't that interesting? Well, that's cool. It doesn't look very good, but it, it really, really cooks the potato right. It's very tasty. That's really, that's really fascinating. Um, so this is just almost a lost art. Do you know anybody else around here that are, that cooks like this? Have no, you ever seen anybody that does no, this? I've never heard of anybody. So you're the only one. The Pine Sap Swamp Potato Man. This is John Lighthouse. What an interesting, interesting thing about history we learned today. Well, every first Saturday in November, we do a special event at Play Card Environmental Education Center called Swamp Fest. And uh, do you think you might be out this year cooking yeah. these swamp potatoes? Yeah, I'm going to definitely try to make it. Come out here and cooking potatoes. Well, yeah. we appreciate that. And everybody enjoy watching for every while. A little mini episode on YouTube. Have a good day. Bye.